Steven. Yes. Why in the heck don't we mold over the mag release? Ah, that's a good question, Amy. We've actually been asked that enough that I think we should make a video for the Q&A page. What do you think? That sounds like a genius idea. Okay, so there's several reasons why we don't mold over the magazine release. The main one is so that you can access it from inside your holster. Because guess what? This is a Glock 30, mm -hmm. Gen 4 Glock 30. That's what the holster's made for, at least. If I stick this in my pants, it's a little thicker than my 43X, okay? Mm -hmm. And let's say, let's just say that I'm using it to protect myself and boom, I get shot in the hand because where do most people shoot? someone was shooting at me, where were they going to shoot at me? Center mass. Center mass, and tip, people typically look at the gun, right? Mm -hmm. So they, they kind of fixate or tunnel vision on the gun, and that's where the bullets tend to gravitate towards. So what could likely be shot? My digits. Your digits. Your digits could get <laughs> shot. So say I get shot in my leading left hand, if I'm a right-handed shooter. Mm -hmm. Now my left hand is down, right? Mm -hmm. Well... There's lots of ways to reload the gun or remove the magazine. You know, I could tuck it under my arm, pull the mag out, stuff a new mag in. You know, I could, I could tuck it under my leg, pull the mag out. I could tuck it under this leg, pull the mag out. But it requires the use of other limbs and it also kind of takes away mobility depending on what method you use. I could pin it down to the ground with my foot. I can charge the gun. See that, cameraman? I can charge the gun off the back of my shoe, lots of things. And your focus is now off of your, your, yeah. your man. But why not be able to holster it, hit the magazine release, and pull the mag out? Now, where's my gun? Still holstered safely. Safely in the holster. <laughs> I can move around with my one hand and, and drop that mag, grab another mag, stuff it in the gun. I can draw the gun, I can rack it on, the, on my pocket, on the side of the holster, on the back of my boot, on the edge of something, and get back in the fight. So it's kind of nice being able to access mm -hmm. the button from inside your holster. That's why we do it. Now the question comes, well, what if I accidentally bump the magazine release, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I want you to hit that as hard as you can against my side. Push on it, push on it, really <laughs> car ramrod it, kick it. <clears throat> okay, did it, did the mag come out? No. Tell you what, let's go a little further. Let's put it on the floor. There's the mag release, everybody see the mag release button? <clears throat> okay. Let's put it on the floor and I'm gonna stand on it. On the customer's holster? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Now that's durability. There we go. Okay. Did the mag come out? Yep. No, it didn't release, did it? So, and look, it's got a nice cheetah pattern on it. Mm -hmm. So, how does that work? Well, if you look closely, can you see the mag release from this angle, cameraman? Can you see that button right there? No. No. So between our leather backer and the inner layer of the Kydex, we've got enough thickness to accommodate for the magazine release that it's same, same. It's like it's got a piece of Kydex over the top of it in functionality because of the thickness of the leather and the thickness of the piece of Kydex. So you're not likely to bump it accidentally. Now we used to mold the Kydex over it, but guess what happens? Then the Kydex, that inner layer of Kydex, can flex enough that guess what can happen? And it pinches the button. 
sometimes it can bump the button if you lean against the side of the pistol grip. Uh, so say you're leaning back, back against it sitting in your truck or you're leaning up against a wall. So it's actually less likely in our design, in our hybrid uh, holster design, to accidentally be bumped without that piece of Kydex touching it. Because Kydex flexes when you put a lot of pressure on it. Isn't that cool? Was, was that a good enough answer for you? I think I have learned everything I need to know. I kind of looked, I, I should have been looking at you the whole time because you asked the question, but I looked like we had a camera going uh, for Well, that's good practice that for when we do. Yeah, it's good practice for when we do the video. Yeah. So, and anyways. you don't have to look at my ugly face anymore. Yeah. And if we were doing a video, we would say, stay safe, guys, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>